Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. So I want to show everyone how to turn any hot water or especially your older style hot water heaters into a smart hot water heater. So what I have here is two regular hot water heaters. They're electric um, and normally they would be controlled by a um, little gray box timer like this, Intermatic. And it's controlled normally by an analog um, timer like this right um so let me explain what i've done um these two hot water heaters are wrapped in a blanket um to help maintain the heat so they're more efficient so i'm not losing as much heat um but underneath this is just a basic regular electric hot water heater now the three components that you will need in order to make this work um is first of all i want to be able to read the actual temperature of the tanks so what i have here is a sonoff th16 Okay, right here on the side is the plug and it goes down. It's a wire, it's a sensor, and it's actually plugged into the side of the tank. It's not in the tank, but it's touching the tank. So where the service panel is, where you remove the insulation, I have the sensor fished in there and it's actually touching the tank itself. It's not touching any connectors because we don't want that, but it is touching the tank so I can read the tank temperature. Um, and then I can read these temperatures through the Ewe Link app. So at any one time, I can just look on my phone and see what the current temperatures of these tanks are. So that's for me to monitor the temperature. But now, how do we make it smart, right? So what I did was, uh, we have heater number one and we have heater number two. So I removed the analog timer out of it. And this is what makes it smart right here, guys. So I have a 120 to 240 volt relay. But the main thing is, that it's a 120 volt coil okay so the so the top here and the bottom here is the coil and this is the um in power incoming power and the out, outgoing power going to the hot water heater itself okay so this is 220 volts now you can run this on 120 volts so i actually have this set up on three hot water heaters i have it on this hot water heater this hot water heater and i also have it set up on my off-grid hot water heater um, so it's been working flawlessly for months now. So I can open this one and I can show you guys I have the same setup in here. And I removed the dials. So how do we control this, right? So um, we have a 120 volt coil that will engage or disengage depending on what we want to do. So this two wires right here um, come down and they actually get plugged into a smart plug. So if you guys can see here, I have heater number one and heater number two. Um, these smart plugs, um, you know, connect to your Wi-Fi and you're able to, whatever you plug into it, you're able to control it on and off, put schedules, timers and stuff like that. So basically I am using a smart plug with a basic um, plug, a three, pl three prong plug um, that I just bought from Home Depot. As you can see, the Home Depot brand is DHX right there. Um, you can use any plug really. And then from there, it comes over. And you're only utilizing the two wires. You're not utilizing the ground wire, okay? The ground wire can be connected like I did here for my grounding. But going to the relay itself, there is no grounding to the relay itself, okay? Um, so you just take um, your neutral and your hot and you plug it into the top and bottom terminals. So that's so when I go ahead and turn on this uh, smart plug, it's going to go ahead and energize the 120 volt coil, which will open and close depending on what I want it to do. And then from there, it'll make the contact so that way now I can turn the hot water heater on or off. Um, so I actually have um, these hot water heaters set up in a way where I run them um, for a certain amount of time. So this property here that I'm on that I own, this property is actually on the grid. Um, so uh, we have um, like a um, peak hours as far as electricity. And so there's sometimes during the day where it's really expensive, like 64. 65 kilowatts 64 to 65 cents per kilowatt hour and then on the lower end on the non-peak hours we have it's about 45 cents i think is the lowest it goes uh, and then like the kind of non-peak is like 55 cents or 56 cents per kilowatt hour so i'm able to run these hot water heaters in the cheaper time periods right in order to heat the water up but obviously, if you do need the hot water during, um, you know, those peak hours, you can turn them on and off. 
So I'm able to utilize the Sonoff TH16 sen um, temperature sensors in order to read the temperatures from a um, app, which is EWI Link. So I can read the temperatures of what's going on. And I can um, e easily turn on and off um, these devices um, at will. In fact, let me get my phone and I'll show you guys it turning on and off. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's showing up very well, um, but I have them. I have a bunch of these um, TH16 um, Sonoff devices plugged into a lot of different things, monitoring the temperature. But the main ones we're, con we're um, concerned about is the rental. So rental heater temperature one, rental heater temperature two, right here. So as you can see, the very bottom one is 72.7 because I have that hot water heater off. We don't need it on right now because uh, I have a dual hot water heating system on this property. Uh, and then as you guys can see on this one right here, the rental heater one temperature is 115 degrees. But technically in the tank, it's 120 to 125 um, because the sensor is not sitting in the water. It's, it's attached to the side of the tank, right? So this is how I'm able to monitor the temperatures of, you know, um, the hot water heaters or anything else that I'm using it on. So now let's go to... Um, the actual um, control so as of right now i have the i'm in the um, the plugs i'm actually using is the um v sync um plugs because i like them they've always worked really well and i've never had problems with them and so i'm using the v sync amp app here and here's a lot of the things that i have on this property that's smart controlled um, so if we go down to the water heater right here you guys can see it's engaged Try to give you guys a better shot here. It's engaged. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button. It's going to go ahead and turn it off because it's on right now. And you could hear it click. That's this one right here. And I'll go ahead and turn it back on for you guys. And it's back on. Now, if we go into the settings, I can set a schedule, which I do. I have many schedules to run at different times depending on what I'm trying to do. Right? So this is a very cheap and inefficient way to turn uh, any hot water heater um, into a smart hot water heater. Um, this has literally cut down on the electricity bill on this property a lot, like quite a bit. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. All I did was remove the um, analog timers that I have sitting here. I have I just have them on the side as backup just in case these ever fail. Um, but I also have backups of these. I have these sitting in a um, bucket down here. Um, I have two brand new ones to replace these if these ever, if one of these ever fail. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the um, for these relays, for the smart plugs, um, and for the um, temperature sensors um, that we can all um, read from our phones. So. I don't have to be here at this property in order to turn and off, turn on and off the hot water heaters. I don't have to be at this property in order to set timers of when it's going to turn on, when it's going to turn off. Um, it's just very user friendly. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys want to, um, you know, do that, I, I think it comes out to uh, to do both of these. So two, uh, uh, don't quote me, guys, but it's two relays, the two smart switches, the plugs. Um, I think it came out to for like, two, you know, like a dual set like I have here. I think I ended up building it for like $65. And I seen online that they have a dedicated, you know, box for one, you know, it's like $180 or something like that just for one. When I'm able to make, you know, these way cheaper. Um, and it's been reliable. I've not had a problem at all. Um, but I keep them in the box. All I did was uh, mount this to the back. Um, that way it's in the middle box. And we close it up. That's it. And then we have our, um, you know, I have um, two of these. One on each heater. And the sensors go in to the service ports. Um, it's just basically the sensor is sitting against the tank. So technically you don't need these sensors here unless you want to monitor the temperature of your hot water heater. But if you just want to set times and change the times and be able to turn your hot water heater on and off remotely, you don't need this. You can just go with a smart plug, a cable, um, and the relay. So like I said, I'll leave a link in the description for um, you know these components. 
um, but I like the fact that I can read the temperature of my hot water heater so that's why I have the um, Sonoff TH16s installed um, but you can use these sensors for many things I have one of these in one of my biogas digesters I have one of these on one of my solar hot water heating circulation pumps um, you can use them for anything um, to read you know just basic temperature of either water or ambient air or whatever you put the sensor on it will read that temperature right or pretty close to it at least so yeah just wanted to show you guys how I have that um, hooked up pretty simple guys pretty simple